Astronomers have discovered Comet C-2014 UN-271 Bernardinelli Bernstein, likely the largest known comet with an 85-mile-wide nucleus. Now near Neptune, it's unusually active, releasing gas jets, including carbon monoxide, far from the sun. Originating from the Oort cloud, it presents a rare opportunity to study ancient solar system material and potentially uncover clues to life's origins. Comet C-2014 UN-271 was first observed in 2014 through archival images from the Dark Energy Survey. While initially seen as a distant icy body, its massive size quickly made it a subject of great interest. With a diameter of 85 miles, the comet is far larger than the asteroid that caused the extinction of the dinosaurs, which measured only about 6 miles across. The comet is currently located 16.6 astronomical units from the Sun, roughly 1.5 billion miles away, but it is already exhibiting unusual activity for its distance. Unlike most comets, which become active as they approach the Sun, this comet has been seen emitting jets of gas, including carbon monoxide. Even from such a great distance, this makes it the first time that carbon monoxide has been detected on a comet so far from the Sun, providing astronomers with a unique opportunity to study its composition and behavior. The comet's size and activity are significant, because they allow scientists to investigate the primordial material that formed the solar system. Comets are considered time capsules from the early solar system, containing clues about the conditions that existed when the Sun and planets were forming. This comet's size suggests it may be one of the original building blocks of the solar system. Its study could help reveal the processes that led to the formation of the outer planets and offer insight into the volatile compounds that may have contributed to the development of life on Earth. As the comet moves inward, scientists are closely observing its changing activity. Its behavior, even far from the Sun, could reveal how comets evolve and release gas and dust as they approach the star. Comets are often described as dirty snowballs, composed of ice, dust, and organic compounds, remnants from the formation of the solar system. As such, they hold crucial information about the early conditions of the solar system, serving as a kind of time capsule. The study of these objects provides insight into the materials that existed when the planets were first forming, offering clues about the processes that led to the creation of Earth and the emergence of life. C-2014 UN-271 is of particular interest because it may carry organic compounds. Molecules containing carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen that are fundamental to life. Comets like this one could have delivered essential organic molecules to Earth during its early years, playing a role in the origins of life. This theory, known as panspermia, suggests that life on Earth may have been seeded by material from comets, and studying this comet could provide crucial evidence to support or challenge this idea. In addition to organic compounds, the comet is emitting jets of carbon monoxide, an essential component of many organic molecules. The fact that carbon monoxide has been observed at such a great distance from the Sun is highly significant. It shows that even in the cold, distant reaches of the solar system, comets contain the chemical building blocks that were once present in the early solar system. As the comet moves closer to the Sun, it will continue to release more gas, providing scientists with a richer understanding of its chemical makeup. This discovery lets astronomers study how comets evolve as they near the Sun. As C-2014 UN-271 approaches, Scientists can observe its changing behavior, offering insights into how other Oort cloud comets might behave. The journey of Comet C2014 UN271 is just beginning, 
and future observations promise to unlock even more secrets. The comet is expected to reach its closest approach to the Sun, or perihelion, in January 2031. At that time, it will pass just outside the orbit of Saturn, making it an ideal subject for study. As the comet moves closer to the Sun, it will become more active, and astronomers will be able to collect more detailed data on its behavior. Astronomers are preparing to observe this comet using both ground-based and space telescopes. The Vera C. Rubin Observatory, which is set to begin operations soon, will track the comet's movements in real time, providing crucial data on its activity. Space telescopes like Hubble and the James Webb Space Telescope will also play a critical role in capturing high-resolution images of the comet and studying the gases it emits. What makes this comet particularly exciting is that it comes from the Oort Cloud, a mysterious and poorly understood region that lies far beyond the orbit of Neptune. The Oort cloud is thought to contain billions of icy bodies, many of which have never been studied in detail. C2014UN271 provides a rare opportunity to study an object from this distant region up close, and as it nears the sun, it will shed more of its icy surface, revealing new information about the chemical composition of the Oort cloud and its role in the formation of the solar system. In addition to enhancing our understanding of comets, this discovery will help researchers learn more about the early solar system and how the solar system evolved. Comet C-2014 UN271 offers a rare look into the early solar system. Its massive size and distant gas emissions provide clues about ancient icy bodies from the Oort cloud. As it nears the sun, scientists hope to learn more about comet evolution and their possible role in the origins of life. This discovery marks a key opportunity to better understand our cosmic history.